Okay, so now we got the outline done. I'm gonna start to remove the, the bulk of the material in the middle. This is gonna be much easier and now that we have the outline done, we don't have to be so careful anymore. So I'm gonna show you with a bit more speed now. Okay, so most of the chisel is gonna be staying vertical for the most part. Just changing the, the bevel direction would give you uh, access to the releasing angle as you can see from here. Okay, very nice and easy. So the key thing is small chunks. You want to be taking small chunks of material out each time instead of trying to remove a very, very deep section. And I just realized I overdid it because uh, I forgot I'm doing a bow tie, not a mortise. Okay, so sorry, Sean, for this uh, embarrassing dem demonstra demonstration. I totally <laughs> overdid it. I, I totally forgot. Okay, so I'm going to do it properly on the other end of the, the, the bow tie so that you guys can see it. Okay, that was, as you can see, that was way deeper than we need for a bow tie. Okay, so here's a bit of a close-up view so that you can see some of the chisel movement. actually getting pretty close to the final thickness that we need and and uh, just do a little bit of a thickness check okay you can see I'm almost in there almost in I'm almost in on uh, sides I'm gonna leave it just at 1 mm above the surface that because there's a bit of a chip on the, the bow tie and I don't want to have that on the surface. So I'm gonna leave some material about one, one millimeter so that we can uh, plane it or chisel it off the surface there, okay? So I'm gonna start to, to, to fit this in and first thing you need to do is find the orientation. Make sure you don't fit the bow tie on the wrong side, okay? The side, because you cut it by hand, your bow tie is not gonna be symmetrical uh, so it's going to fit in this way, therefore I'm going to put another arrow up here. That's going to make it a lot easier for me to keep, to keep track of everything. Okay. So one thing you'll find that it's mainly the corners that will need work. It's mainly the little corners here that's going to give you problems because the bow tie has a sharp corner. Right, of course you could just blunt off the corner on the bow tie, but that's going to look hideous, so we're not going to do that. Instead, what we're going to do is to uh, make sure we have a nice defined corner. So for that purpose, back to pairing the side. See a little corner there? Yeah. That's the little problem, okay? This little bit of material is not going to accept this corner here. So I'm going to chip that. I'm going to um, pair that away and get that sharp. Not looking too bad now. So we're gonna prepare the the bow tie for entry now, and one of the ways to do that is uh, you could just taper. Okay, we're gonna, just gonna chamfer the the bow tie very very slightly. This is the underside. Okay, you just wanna peel back somewhere like a I would say maybe a ten degree taper. It's not a very strong one. 
it's a 10, 10 degree taper it's a slight amount there and that's going to make the entry point a little bit smaller so that that gives you some kind of a lock and that lock is going to allow you to uh, help the material to start entering the, the thing okay let's look at that See, there's just a very small chamfer there. You could, of course, oh, I just broke my, I just broke my, uh, my bow tie. Okay, you could, of course, do it without uh, the chamfer. You just need to get everything a bit more accurate. However, we are doing a bit of a cheat. Okay. So the chamfer allows you to, to find an entrance. Okay, and that seems to be working. It, it actually would go in and out if I just melted it in, but I, I do see some defects. I'm gonna Okay, so while the wood is gonna compress and you hammer it in later, you should take note that uh, it's gonna compress the shape of your mortise. So if your bow tie mortise or the recess is jaggedy jack then your final finish bow tie will be jaggedy jack okay which is fine if you're just trying to repair a structural element which but if you want it to be look a bit neater then maybe you should spend a bit more time to pair out the the edges so that you have an, a better finish all right i'm back uh <coughs> accidentally broke off the end of my bow tie just now when i was trying to fit it so got it all repaired with some uh, technology so hopefully I'm not going to mess it up again this time mm -hmm. okay. let me get my hammer so I can do this properly okay so you can see the bow tie actually has a compression uh, fit and as it goes in right if the bow tie is slightly wider than this the only way for the material to relax is if it if the, the two sides draw in together like that they would draw the these two sides in because of the wet shape so it's actually a good thing that your bow tie is really difficult to hammer in but of course with experience you would know how tight is too tight but right now I'm feeling it on uh, my my hammer and it feels okay. Okay, you also need to know when your bow tie is has hit bottom. Okay, if it's hit bottom, you don't keep smashing it. It's not gonna help. You might end up fracturing your bow tie and then it's now you can't take it out anymore. Okay. Okay, everything feels rock solid and and tadish tadish is it is in the bow tie is in. Okay, and because the bow tie is kind of like kind of like an ancient technique, right? For keeping wood together they're technically not even supposed to glue it at all so we're gonna not glue it this time around okay we're just gonna keep it like that okay i'm gonna release the camera now i want to show you what it looks like on the side so you have a clearer idea of uh, the amount of overlap okay so just yeah just a little bit of protrusion you can see my scar there right from the damage and also the super glue that i used to repair Okay, and all that's going to be paired away on my next attempt, on my next uh, portion, and then get it all leveled down. You can peek inside here and you can see that the bow tie has rested nicely in the middle right there. Okay, so and I'm going to start pairing now. Okay, so as you can see, I got the uh, bow tie off fitted and it's very tight now. I can't really remove it anymore. So... Uh, Sean actually asked me the question do you need a hand plane to do this bow tying thing okay I don't think so you can actually remove the material rather effectively with a chisel okay you can see that and uh, of course by the time you get to this stage you're probably pretty good with the chisel so it's time for you to upgrade to your 15mm chisel okay you take out a 15mm chisel and start using it because it is um, gonna be much uh, more effective at flattening 
however you find that you need to push a bit harder maybe okay. so you see the chisel is actually pretty good for finishing material yes you can see the finish is getting a bit better now let me zoom in for you guys okay so this is the area that has been crossed has been uh, chiseled off okay and we're gonna just slice it across like that okay and oh it's gonna rain soon okay so you don't get to see a nice finish here okay so of course the 45 might be the good good um the 45 degree angle that i'm doing now might be a good uh halfway mark for for us in terms of uh, getting both a, a combination of a good finish and also uh oh look at that okay a good finish and efficiency in the cut you can see wow 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 this is so fun okay so just move the chisel slightly to the side like a knife in fact this is one of the earliest forms of planing it's like a they call it a spear plane or something okay they use it in japan where you slice the material with an open knife. You do, the plane doesn't even have a body. Okay, once again, please be careful at this stage not to cut your hand, okay? Stay in control of the chisel and don't do anything silly. Okay, and I think I am done. Let me take the camera off and show you guys up close. Okay, you can see a little bit of a hole there, a little bit of a hole there, a little bit of a hole there. I'm honestly a bit ashamed. Okay, but generally not too bad considering that uh, this is done on end grain. Okay, so I will not be finishing this with any oil because if I'm not wrong, Sean actually wants to do it on a on a stump also. So. Uh, is, is going to be in some kind of a state like this finish on the surface is perfectly acceptable on the bow tie perfectly acceptable even without any sandpaper or plane okay and that's it i hope you enjoyed the video and i will see you again for another another home project let me know if you have any video requests down in the comments and don't forget to subscribe bye bye